A little, I'm a little like, oh, what's gonna happen? But once I get going, I'll be fine. I think it's a great subject to discuss. I think it's just the camera that makes me a little <laughs> uncomfortable. Yeah, I am too. Is that if you are engaging with someone that sort of has these um, quote unquote traditional or stereotypical views, I mean, forget it because it's like, what do you mean you're not going to be home to cook dinner? What do you mean I have to change the diaper? What do you mean? Right? Like, forget, I mean, just forget that. That's never going to go well. Yeah, no, I, I want a boss lady. I want a woman who knows what she wants. I want a woman that works and she's smart and she does all these things until it's like, yeah, no, I'm not going to be there. Or like, where's my dinner? And it's like, yeah, that's not a thing when I'm like working a 15 hour day, like, you know? So, um, Slash, where's my dinner? <laughs> like, <laughs> men are afforded a privilege that women are not. Because if I am a man at home cooking, I am, uh, yes, there may be this question of like, am I emasculated? Am I doing, but more often than not in the circles, wow, how lucky you are that your husband cooks. Wow, he takes care of the kids. This is wonderful. Whereas the woman is in the workplace being told, stop being bitchy, stop being angry, stop being bossy, and she is rising against that. And so I actually offer that because I feel like we are praising men for sitting in that role that women have sat in forever. If you're dating someone that is genuinely like okay with it, but his bros are like, are you gonna let your woman talk to you like that? And that's what he's meeting constantly on the other end. That's hard. That makes it challenging. Um, I don't think it's just men that have to learn. I think we all have to do our part and learn and be challenged and grow. I also think it's not fair to say to men that they have to like take up these other things when we're not making it accessible to them also. Like that's a real thing too. Don't be more involved in your child's life, but you don't get to take any days off. It's like there should be maternity and paternity leave. I do think something that can be helpful in the process is knowing that we're not out to get you. Like, you know what I mean? I think that so often it does feel like um, progressive women or successful women are like coming in for the downfall of men or that we hate you all or that we think that you hate us or whatever it is. It's 150,000% necessary to engage men in the discussion about gender roles and gender dynamics. Absolutely, we cannot do it without everybody. It takes everybody discussing these things. It can sometimes get ugly and complicated and messy. Um, but we have to at least question it. Even if, even if we arrive at the same conclusion, when you make space for people to tell their truth and explore ideas, it makes it okay. It creates a community. It shows people that they are not alone. It doesn't have to be, to your point, a taboo topic. I think it's a, I actually think it's a really unique idea. I think that's what really piqued my, that's why I was like, oh yeah, this is a great idea. We should talk about this. We should do this. Cause I don't think it's something specifically like the home life. There's a lot of like, me too, and like boss lady and all of that. But I think the flip side that is the untold side a lot is like the man in the home or what that dynamic looks like. Uh, Just as long as you don't put me in the trailer so that no one will ever want to date me again. <laughs> Please don't do that. It's not that bad, is it? I think that's why cameras make me nervous because you're saying things and you're like, you will never be able to challenge whether or not you said that because it is recorded.